It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And I am in Coronado, California doing maintenance today. And it is summer. Um, we're doing some replanting for one of our favorite clients. And I pulled this cotyledon out of the car and realized that it would be a really great example of a tip. Something's going on with this plant, isn't it? The leaves are kind of shriveled and desiccated and it just doesn't look real happy. Now, don't just assume something when you see a plant that looks unhappy. It could be a lot of things. The problem is that the plant has gone into stress or it has gone night-night. It is starting to go into dormancy because it is experiencing a stressor. So what's important to remember is not to assume that it's one thing or another, but to think about the environment. Think about the time of year. Think about where the plant is living. Think about your watering schedule. Think about all of those things and then apply the appropriate protocol. Now, let's break this down. Here in San Diego, it is summer. Here, I have not watered this plant in over a week. It has been sitting out in my courtyard in this black planting can in the blazing sun. And when I reach down inside and feel the soil, it is indeed as dry as a bone. So I can assume that water is what this plant needs. So am I gonna water it to death and keep watering it and keep watering it and keep watering it until I see the leaves start to pop back open? No, I'm gonna give it one cup of water I'm going to place it in the shade and I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the plant to speak. If water was indeed the issue, these leaves will plump up quite quickly. The plant will bounce back very fast, but I'm not going to add more water until the soil once again is dry. That can cause rot. If you water too frequently or you don't give the plants a chance to dry out sufficiently, they can rot and die on you. So it's really not that hard to navigate through troubleshooting with your succulents if you just apply some common sense. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting from California, obviously Coronado, California with your succulent tip of the day.